Hi, my name is John Moran. I'm a cloudy and sales engineer in the New York, New Jersey metro area. And today we're going to be talking about cloudy and hyperstore with IBM Spectrum 7.1.7. .7. A few things before we get started in our demo. I want to let you know that clouding can be set up as an S3 cloud storage pool. This was new in IBM Spectrum starting in 7.1.7 .7 and can be used in all newer releases. IBM Spectrum uses the Amazon S3 API to access the Cloudian Hyperstore. Storage pools can be set up through TSM Operation Center or the command line. Below are two examples of the command line and a view of TSM Operation Center. So let's get started. First, let's log into the Cloudian Management Console. Here you can see under Buckets and Objects that we do not have any current buckets created. We can also then go under security credentials where we can view our S3 access credentials. This is where our access key is and our secret key. And then we can also see our S3 endpoints. This is all information we'll need later on. Now logging into Tivoli Storage Manager Operation Center. You can see if we go up to storage, then storage pool, click add storage pool. Here we'll type in the name of the new storage pool. In this case, we're going to call it Cloudian S3. Hit next. For our setup, we are going to pick off premise cloud. Then we're going to select Amazon S3. And here is where we're going to put in our credentials. Our access key ID for username. And for password, that will be our secret key. For region, we're going to pick other. And our URL, we're going to put in our S3 endpoint. Hit next. Add a directory for our caching data. Add storage pool. And you can see we successfully created a new storage pool. Now we're going to do a backup from our client. We log in to TSM. Issue a backup command. And you can see the data moving across to our Cloudian backup pool. From the server console, you can see that the backup has been completed with about two gigs of data. And you can also see from the web interface that there are now two gigs inside that cloud container. So now we're going to move on to a little restore. Here we have our directory where we had our backups from. I'm going to delete some of the files that are in this folder. Issue a TSM restore command. And you'll see that the files are then restored from the Cloudian storage pool. And then the last thing, we go back over to our Cloudian Management Console, and you can see that there is a bucket created now that is an IBM SP bucket. And you can see all the folders that are under that bucket as well. So we have successfully completed a quick little demo of IBM Spectrum 7.1.7 creating a on-premise storage pool with Cloudian. 